Hi gang, I'm Jim. I am a solar boondocker. Stick around with me long enough, I'll teach you to be one too. There were questions about how I installed my air conditioner in the cabinet. I want to show you how I did that. I don't have a lot of footage of me actually cutting holes and things like that, but I can show you what I've done. This is where my microwave used to live. I took it out in lieu of my air conditioner simply for the fact that I didn't want to have to mount it in the window every time I needed it. This way I can pull into a parking lot, shove Max in the trailer, turn on the air conditioner, and know he's okay. Let's take a look at what I've done. So here you can see from the front of the cabinet all the way outside. I cut a hole in the interior wall, removed the insulation, cut a hole in the exterior wall with tin snips. This stud right here I left because it's structural and it doesn't keep the air conditioner from venting itself much. Um, I am replacing the outer vent simply because it did restrict the air conditioner too much. These are L brackets that are set on either side of the air conditioner to hold it in place. These are I hooks that I use a really heavy duty bungee cord to keep it set down. It holds it in there incredibly tight. I don't have a drain cut in simply because the condensation is blown up against the fan which blows it out over the condenser unit. That helps keep the condenser cooler. It's one of the features of the air conditioner. So let's see what it's like to get this thing in here. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's tight. All right, so this is my Frigidaire Energy Star uh, 5000 BTU. It's a little heavier than a regular unit for that efficiency. So if I look awkward sticking this in the hole, I apologize. I'm not usually going to do this. Get it all the way in there. This goes up through a hole in the wall. Luckily my hand just fits in here. I think. Okay. So the cord is going to come through this hole. There we go. And this comes through here and it plugs into the outlet that the microwave in the first place plugged into. We can put this cord up here. This is the bungee cord that I use to hold it down. It's a flat bungee cord. It's extremely thick. Again, I'm lucky my hands fit in here. Stretch it out. and hook it on the other side. So now it's not going to move side to side. It's not going to move up and down. We're plugged in. We're held down all the way back against the stud in the back. Let's show you how I did the trim. So in the bottom of the cabinet when I took out the microwave was a thin sheet of, I, I guess, veneer. Out of that sheet, I cut my trim pieces. This is a piece that goes across the top. Let's get that lined up. These three across the top hold that top piece in.
This piece here goes in the bottom. Now putting this in and out isn't something I do all the time. These pieces fit like this, but we're not going to screw them in for the moment. Because to hold these pieces of trim in, now I can screw those in. All right, here's our last piece. It goes across the top. And there it is. It's trimmed in from the inside. Let's go outside and show you what it looks like from the outside, but I gotta warn you, that's not the permanent situation. I actually wanna build a hatch, a hinged hatch that makes it so I don't have to worry about wind, rain, snow. Right now I, I put use magnets to hold the cover in place. It's kinda awkward, but it works. So let's go outside. And here we are outside. Now, this grate is in a permanent situation. I found that these vents didn't provide enough ventilation. It caused back pressure on the condenser unit. That caused it to overheat. So I'll be switching this out to a uh, hinged cover that when I need the air conditioning, I, I can lift the cover. It'll keep it shaded. It'll keep the rain out. Uh, as it's running or as it's going down the road. Right now though, this is the way it is. Um, you can see I removed these vents up here to give it better ventilation. It, it keeps it cool, it keeps it running. Um, it does create a problem if you have a lot of bugs because they can get in there. And if I don't have the cover with the magnets on it, if, if it's raining or snowing, of course that can get in there. So when I'm not, in, when it's not in use, I keep it covered up. When I do build the permanent hatch, I'll make a video out of that too. But I wanted to get the video out now of how I installed it in the trailer. Um, you see a lot of trailers like this that have window units mounted in the side. Uh, most of them don't have permanent hatches to protect them. I just want to do it for my own peace of mind. So there you have it. This is how I installed my air conditioner in the microwave cabinet. 
I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribed to my channel. I hope you got something out of this. Remember, you can find me at jimindenver.com for solar design and consultation. And come back and see me again because I sure like talking to y'all. Have a great day. Thanks.